Meanwhile, Governor Bill Lee's executive order on schools and masks now under federal investigation. The U.S. Department of Education sent a letter saying the order allowing parents to opt their children out of wearing masks may discriminate against immunocompromised students. News Channel 5's Levi Ismail with a closer look at how the state's new efforts to compromise. This new waiver is meant to offer flexibility, but ultimately the decision on virtual learning comes from the state. Now teachers and educators around the state are sounding off saying we need to give power back to the districts because they know what's best for their students. As many as 10 school districts across Tennessee have temporarily closed their doors. The surge of COVID cases within their schools was just too much too soon. The problem will only get worse as the year goes on. Michelle Sheriff is president of the Metro Nashville Education Association. She joined other educators and parents as they called out the state for not giving districts much flexibility to begin with. Teachers want kids to be at school learning in person, but that's not possible without the ability to implement common sense health and safety measures. A new waiver from Tennessee Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn hopes to act as a compromise. Say you have one student who contracts the virus and because of the seating chart, you know others may have been in close contact. The district can now determine if it's reasonable to continue classes with their current resources if there's an outbreak. Otherwise, they can apply for a waiver and continue class online. Really, it's about saying, look, we are at a point where it is not possible to safely have students in the building and we have such a high quarantine or isolation population that we need to do something different. If they're approved, schools can now save the snow days they otherwise would have had to use because hybrid learning was not an option. Schwinn says they will evaluate schools that need multiple waivers in a row to see if they're doing all they can to keep students safe. That includes seating charts in class, buses, and lunch. But there was no mention of masks, a solution some say is the only real compromise. State officials have not been consistent and they must follow the science, not react to the unreasonable. Reporting, Levi's Mill, News Channel 5. Thanks, Levi. Waivers are reviewed three times a day, so schools have enough time to prepare if their waivers approved. Schools were just told about the waivers Friday, and at last check, one waiver has been submitted.